Hey everyone, so here is Unity 3D and nav meshes in five minutes or less. So we need some type of ground to be the basic nav mesh that the player will move around on. I chose a quad just because it's easy. Uh, and as long as it has some type of mesh, you're good to go. So now you go to your navigation window and you set whatever object you want to be the ground to navigation static and navigation area walkable. Make sure that there's some type of scene. I named it main. And once you press bake, you'll get uh, feedback about what your navigation's mesh looks like, marked in blue. I'm creating another one, a cube, and I'm setting it to not walkable. And now when I bake again, you'll see that the nav mesh is influenced by that not walkable area. Now I'm going to create my player character. This player can be named whatever you want. Just make sure that he has a new script on him that we can use to influence how he navigates the world. I'm calling it player navigation. It can be named whatever you want. This player navigation script is going to have access to some sort of nav mesh agent who will move around on the nav mesh and will need to be able to set destinations using our mouse clicks. So let's get started. First off, we'll create a camera variable so that we can get information about where the player is clicked more accurately. And second, we'll make a nav mesh agent variable, which will be used in order to set the variable's destination. Let's make both of them public so that we can make sure that both of them are set properly when we start the game. Uh, but I'll also in start just make sure that even if I forget to set them, nothing will go wrong because I'm getting the components and the main camera and just setting it. So once you have your camera and your nav mesh agent set, in update we need to do some tests. The first one being uh, if the input of the player is the left mouse button. Because when they click the left mouse button, we want to get some position on the ground and use that as a destination or a goal. To figure out where the player is clicking, we need a ray cast hit and we need a ray. The ray cast hit is just out information about where the point is that was hit, but the ray is actually going to be a line or a ray drawn from the camera to wherever the mouse was clicking. Once we have that output information, we simply get the point of the hit and apply that to the nav mesh agent's destination. The way we do that is in our script we say navmeshagent.setDestination the hit.point. And now when we run this inside of Unity, make sure you save. And additionally, make sure to add a navmesh agent to your player. Now we should see that whenever we click on a place inside of the navmesh, it will try to navigate to that point. And if we want to be a little fancy about it, we can add a few more objects to the scene. We can uh, make sure we could uh, make jumpable areas, that sort of thing. But for now, I'm just moving the camera to make sure that we can see the area and click on it easy. And I'm also making sure to rebake my navigation mesh once I've set the locations of my ground plane and all the blocking elements. Now if I press play again, you'll see that the character will be able to move around all of these objects and you can make it as complex as you want because it's all baked beforehand. So it makes navigation a lot easier. And that is Unity 3D and Nav Meshes.